Welcome back to my S rank walkthrough for Resident Evil 5, my friends. This is chapter 2.3, and it's probably one of the hardest chapters in the game. I will let you know that in this first segment of the chapter, it's pretty much impossible to avoid taking damage. But I'm not going to say it's completely impossible because who knows, maybe one day someone will be able to do it. But when you're playing with the AI, you'll most likely get hit at least a couple of times while doing this segment. Maybe if you're playing with another human player it's possible to complete this first part without taking damage because one of you can shoot at the bikers and the other can shoot at the trucks. But with the AI it's pretty much pointless. The AI will always shoot whatever and it really makes things hard. <laughs> See, I don't even know how I got hit here. A strategy that you can use to prevent your guns from overheating. Keep pressing the, the fire button instead of holding it like they suggest that you do. Just keep smashing the fire button over and over and that will prevent your weapons from overheating. And make sure you press the correct buttons whenever you have to deal with these sharp turns. As soon as you see one of those trucks, sh start shooting at the trucks because they will run you. As you can see, an another annoying thing about this shot is the fact that you can only move your weapon so much. So there might be enemies that will be standing on the sides of the jeep and you can't reach them. And we're going to enter the difficult, the true difficult part of this chapter because there's going to be two trucks coming from opposite sides. It will be hard to take them out. Got some sharp cars up ahead. Hold on tight. But hey, at least it's not Chevo or Chris who take damage, so I guess that's okay. It's the poor Jeep. There's going to be another truck on the other side, so. Try to dispose of one of them as quickly as possible. I believe that the AI will always aim towards the, the left side. So you should focus on the right side. It's just a shame that you can't tell the AI where to aim. But I'm actually surprised I managed to pass that one section without getting hit once. From this point on this chapter is fairly simple, or at least this segment, because the boss fight is really annoying as well. Get ready to turn around, we're going to reach a roadblock. There we go. Nice. And now there's a few more bikers, but... They're very easy to handle and there's going to be another truck. Just start shooting as soon as you see the truck. You may or may not take damage here. The truck, the truck will always hit you once. I think this is one of those things where... The Jeep will always take some damage during this segment. I, I think it's pretty much impossible to avoid taking any damage. Unless, like I said, you're playing with another human player. I haven't tried that. But if somehow you manage, then let me know.
I always thought it was hilarious the way that the SAA guy dies. I mean, how can you not see a giant troll appearing? It's ridiculous. They, they really just wanted to get rid of him. Which is a shame, I mean, it would be nice if some more BSAA members survived. But anyway, against this boss fight it is possible to avoid taking damage, I'm going to try my best to do so. It's not easy because there are going to be a few Magini who will throw projectiles at you. For starters you need to shoot the boss in the head and whenever those parasites appear you need to shoot the parasites. Eventually after you destroy the smaller parasites a big parasite will emerge from its back and then you need to shoot it and after you do that about 3 times the fight will be over. It's really not that hard to avoid taking damage from the boss, the main issue here is the Magini with the crossbows. There they are, you need to get rid of them quickly because if they hit you with an arrow it doesn't it won't damage the jeep a whole lot but you will take damage and there's also a guy throwing molotov cocktails at you those will leave a little bit more damage you have to do this one two more times make sure that a huge parasite on its back appears and I take care of that guy they appear randomly you can either have to deal with one guy throwing molotov cocktails or with two guys throwing firing arrows at you. Fortunately they always scream whenever they appear in, on the screen so that's how you know they're there. But the really annoying thing about this fight is that whenever the back parasite emerges there will be a moment where you can't do anything because it's kind of like a cutscene is playing but the enemies will still be able to prepare their arrows and fire them at you. So... Yeah, this fight can be a little bit unfair. And it does turn down a little bit to work, but... So far so good. Hopefully I can redeem myself from the previous part and avoid taking any damage here. Not that we'll use the jeep again, so it doesn't really matter. There we go, there's the parasite once again. Just keep firing at it. And if we do this one more time, it should be enough to finish off the boss. Just keep an eye out for the Magini that come from both sides. Here they come again, three of them, there we go. Always aim for its head, until the parasites appear, its head is its weak point. It will also stun him momentarily, so that's a little break that you can take to defeat the Magini. At least they don't appear all the time, it takes a little bit before they respawn, but Here they are again, so let's shoot at them. Sometimes he might not be stunned and he might try and step on you. And if you're trying to shoot the Magini and at the same time shoot the, the boss, with the AI it's impossible. With another human player maybe you can have one of the hum you can have your partner shoot at the Magini while you focus fire on the boss, but it, with the AI it really doesn't work out. All that well, so one more parasite, and we should have this one in the back. Get rid of that guy, and there we go. We should be able to finish the fight now. Just open fire as soon as you can. Three times we do it. There we go.
Where are you, Josh? Sheva, you don't have to do this. You can still back out. What about you? I've got a personal stake in this. A personal stake? Chris, look around. We should both get the hell out of here. I'm not here just for the mission. What are you talking about? A while back, I received some intel that my old partner was still alive. At first, I didn't know what to think. But when I saw the data file from Delta Team, I knew for sure. Jill is still alive. That woman in the data file? Are you even sure it's the same person? We were partners. I'm sure. Wait! Wait! You're not going alone! Chris, wait! I don't have much time. I have to find her. I'm going with you. These are my people that are dying here. Are you sure about this? A second ago, you were ready to cut and run. I can't just turn my back and walk away. There are no more orders from here on in. It's just us. We are partners. To the end. Now let's get moving. Copy that. And there you have it my friends, this is the end of this chapter, we got an S rank on everything, which is actually pretty good, usually with this chapter your accuracy might be affected. But that's it, as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later for the next part, take care.